My name is Michael Skiba, also known as Dr. Fraud. Studies show about 10 to 20% of all claims that are submitted in an insurance company are fraudulent. So it's about one in five, one in 10, have some degree of misrepresentation or fraud. What I do is I come in and I assess the vulnerable areas. I look for gaps. I look for anywhere that a criminal or any threat could find a vulnerability. One of the tests I do with a lot of my students, I call it the ATM test. So I ask them, I say, all right, look, if, you're, if you go to the ATM and you knew that you were not gonna get caught with whatever came out, okay, what, what would be your threshold? Right? Would it be five dollars, ten, a thousand? No threshold. So this is what we're going to talk about today. Small companies can go bankrupt by by several very very large cases. So so there's there's two aspects of this. There's the large scale, uh, organized criminal element and fraud. Um, but what often goes unnoticed is the opportunistic fraud, which is the the cases that go under the radar. And in my opinion, it's even easier for the workers' comp claimants. And we're going to talk about the mentality of why I think it's easier. Hey, when we go on break, hey, let's, let's do a staged accident in the, in the parking lot, you know, or something like that, right? There's no cameras around, we can get away with this, right? That's just right, we're all kind of like, that's what we're laughing, right? But it's, why we're we laughing? Because that's just weird, right? We wouldn't do that. But, yeah, we might, yeah, maybe also we, we might not laugh at, you know, a padding situation. Now, we know it's not right, but we might not think it's that out of realm of possibility. All right, now I'm working with a company in developing a social media platform where they can use certain metrics from social media and help identify threats. So in other words, when people are posting, how they're posting. So it's important to be very creative with these approaches because these criminals look for opportunities and they're very creative, very cognitive. I had a student by the name of Nadia, okay? So Nadia came up to me one class. This was when I first started teaching. She was a very involved student, but very busy. So she had family, multiple jobs. So she used to come into the night class and she used to say, Professor, you know, I got to run. You know, can you give me the Cliff Notes version of what you're going to talk about? You know, I felt for her because she was really trying. So I, I would give her that five minute, this is what it's about. Okay. So to all you Nadia's out there right now, this is the only message that you need to remember. Okay. To try to reduce your opportunity. Okay. Reduce your opportunity reduce your vulnerabilities. I will help assist with those preventative strategies and implement them, even perform training on how to realize the most significant results.